Hello, my name's Ian McMillan. You might know me as the Bard of Barnsley. Make me living through writing and talking. But I'll tell you what, it's been really hard, this lockdown. I think we've all found that. Just having to be kind of pushed in into yourself. And what I like to do is I like to walk. And of course, you've been restricted in your walking. So every morning, I get up very early and I do my early stroll, which has been good. Then I get back in the house and I think, what can I do now? And what I've done is, I've actually walked around the house. I've walked from one room to the next room, walked up and downstairs, walked over there, walked over there, and pretended that I'm in Cleethorpes. It's a great idea. Walk up and down, pretend you're in Cleethorpes. It's a lot warmer, but the fish and chips aren't quite as good. People around us are struggling, we know that. People are finding it really hard, mentally, this thing. And I think what we can do is just lift them up, just give them a, a metaphorical hug, just tell them they're doing all right, ring them up. When you pass them on the street, on your walks, just say hello, just knock on somebody's door and just wave to them, because that's what we need. We need to feel that we're all human beings in contact. And I want to say a big shout out to all the key workers who've kept this place going, who've kept Barnsley going throughout this. Fantastic, done a great job. Thank you very much. One thing I've done during the lockdown, I've done quite a lot of writing. I mean, I do that anyway, but I've been writing down what it's been like for me in the lockdown about the people I've seen, about the acts of kindness that I've witnessed. And I'd like you to have a go at that. Have a go at doing some writing. Now, you might tell me you've never done any writing before, but just maybe write down a line about something somebody said to you, maybe something you saw all through the lockdown. Because in years to come, people will want to know what it's like. And if you like, have a go at doing a writing minute every day at the same time every day for a week. So let's say 10 past 12, dinner time. You put your kettle on, you sit down, you write a line. The day after that, at the same time, write a line. At the end of a week, you'll have a seven line poem. I'll tell you what, make it eight lines. Do it for a fortnight, make it a 14 line one. That'll be a sonnet, it'll be fantastic. Then roll it up and put it in a bottle and that could be your message to the future, to your future selves or to people in Barnsley who'll read them in years to come. Have a go. I think what does help us through this is words, words and language. And I, I've written just a line that's going to go on a memorial that's going to be there at the end of all this. And it's going to be part of what we're going to be doing in Barnsley to think about what it's been like. And it was a line that actually started off as quite a lot more lines. And then I cut it down. And the line is, Barnsley's fierce love holds you forever in its heart. Because that's what it does.